Hey everybody, how y'all doing? You like my face? I like this face, not just because it's mine, but because it's a special face. This is my Veneta Mark III that I almost never wear. And in case you give a rip, I made it mainly as a helmet to use on long rides because I took my Veneta Mark II, that heavy thing, out on a road trip. Actually, it was when I went to go visit uh, the family that had Ronin and uh, it sucked because it was really heavy and it was not fun. So I thought I'm gonna make a really light, slim version and that's what this is. I don't usually get to wear it, and it's nice enough today. It's a pleasant 47. I was like, I'm gonna wear that one. And I like this one a lot. It's just, hey! Yeah, that sucked for me. I was looking over to, to get out of here, but then I looked in front of me and they were stopping. And then I felt my heart make this pain sound, and this lady's on her phone. Let's get a closer look at this. Mm, yeah, act like you weren't doing it. Just put your finger in your ear. You look less stupid that way. She was totes doing it. So I just went to McMicro Center for some nerd stuff. And when I got off my motorcycle, when I was walking into the store, I saw that one of my uh, thermal layer gloves was on the floor, had fallen out of my helmet. And I thought, nah, it'll, it'll still be there when I get back. I went out there, it was gone. I looked all over the parking lot. I could not find it. I don't think someone stole it. I mean, who steals a glove or a sock? Yeah, probably, that actually makes sense. Like so many one single socks go missing, it must be a sock thief. Anyway, he felt like taking up my glove today. So I was like, crap. So I have to buy a whole new pair of gloves. If I'm going the right way, I get to go on the highway and this helmet rocks on the highway. Normally it has this nice, attractive metal grate of a grill right here. And then it was like matching the grills on my, uh, on my gas thingy. But uh, it's winter and you can change it out for just a solid vent so that's what i have here this one's kind of nice so if i stop here i can kind of just open it up <gasps> get some oxygen and close it back up and uh there's two vents up here it's a pretty simple helmet it's the lightest helmet i have one of the most comfortable but it is not soundproof i keep hearing it i had my friend over the other day and uh he wanted to watch one of my videos and we watched tasty defeat Moto Monday. I hadn't seen that one well since I made it almost a year ago. And I was watching it and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm driving so fast. I don't know the last time I went that fast. And so I kind of have that in mind from yesterday and I want to go fast. I don't want to take it, but I want to go fast. Ugh, okay, I can, I, can, I can hit it. I can hit it. Invincible! Watch me wreck now. It's be funny. Invincible! Crap, 55. That's no fun. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, both the lanes are full. I'm gonna have to slow it down here pretty soon. I didn't count, man. Okay, and we're gonna try it. Ah, that's the exit up there that I need. I can't go very far. Dang it, this isn't a good place to do it. Time is against us. Make haste. We ride through the night. Oh my gosh. I almost got hit by three people on the way out here. This is ridiculous. Now I would show you that but I'm saving it for Moto Monday because rare things like that are rare. They don't happen often, that's what rare means, and I save them for Moto Monday, so you'll see those later. But I'm just saying it because I'm a little aggravated. I can't believe, well, there's another one right there. He's pulling right in front of that guy. Like, come on. Oh my gosh, guys, guess what? Here in Kansas, it's supposed to be 60 degrees on Friday and Saturday. Oh! I was so happy, but then I remembered, oh yeah, I have a puppy that I can't leave at home, so it sucks. If I had a woman's, that would be great, because then she could babysit the dog while I go out and work. <laughs> but instead I get to be home. I mean, I'm going to try to get out. I'll try to get out on Friday and Saturday. That's a disguised cop. <laughs> it's okay. He can't do nothing. Actually, he could, because I got pulled over on that road in Busted number three. I think it was number, yeah, it was number three. And, uh... He could go down there and try to pull me over, so I'm never going to be cautious. Hey, there's a dog! Now, I didn't think I'd care, but I do care. I really want to pet it. I remember when I got Ronan, I was thinking, you know what? I don't really care about anyone else's dog because mine's the best. That's what I think. And I thought, next time I see a dog in a car, I'm just going to be like, whatever. But I really want to pet it! I, I just, like, I can't shake it. It's like it needs to be done. I don't think it's going to happen because there's no left lane or two lanes for me to get next to him. Most likely this person will exit before me or after me, and I'm just going to be screwed and I can't pet him. But I want to, so... Yeah, just a fair warning, like in the future, I may not care as much about dogs. 
Hey, you have a dog. Is it Ronan? No, oh, I guess I don't really like him that much. I don't hate dogs, it's just mine's better. All right, I just, I like mine better. I'm allowed to, I should. I should like my dog better. I have a puppy at home with a timed bladder. Oh, uh, what kind of puppy? As uh, a Bernie's Mountain Dog. Oh, all right. Say goodbye to your furniture. Oh yeah, well just to prove you wrong, I'm gonna teach Ronan to build furniture. So what do you think about that, huh? All right, so now I'm on a mission to get home, as always. That's gonna be my mission in life, is just being home for Ronan. The most lucky won't be able to speed, but I wanna try, guys, darn it. Because I feel like I've just been sitting all day. Look at that traffic! Crap! Ah, it's not gonna happen. Uh, you know... Oh, thanks, mate. I guess what I was saying wasn't important enough for him to not interrupt me. Thanks for nothing! I'm kidding. You know, the worst traffic I ever ran into was in Dallas, Nick, Texas. I drove straight from here in Kansas down there all day long and it just happened to put me you what mate you what mate I was asking about my helmet but what he really wants is a spam card I got you mate yeah mate can I speak just a little bit just a little bit please just a little bit yeah triple digits is all I wanted in life all I wanted in life was to hit the three digits code. That felt attractive. I want to speed more than that, but I hit my triple digit goal in life, so that's all I got. And, um, you know, I've been trying to get out to get footage from Odom Money, but it's Slim Pickens with the weather and my Ronin, so. Anyway, hope this didn't suck, and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching!